So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on. Let's get to class. Oh, look. It's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <gasps> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait. I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're going to force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I got to get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it. I knew I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey, you really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Hmm? It's only going to take a second. Oh, no. I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. There you go. See? All done. You just injected me with 
bed. Don't tell me she's going to pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap. Says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, okay? Because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're going to go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs> what? No, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they, really, pair me with some super hot guy. Hi, <laughs> I'm Justine. You're not quite what I was expecting. Oh, well, um, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, but, you know, in a good way. <laughs> Yeah, same. You know, this whole system is pretty messed up. I know. Tell me about it, right? I mean, do they put a tracker in your wrist, too? Yep, they did. But I have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom. Hmm, you do. Well, okay. I'm listening. Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Yeah, we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track around, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going <laughs> to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait. I... I have a confession to make. I'm... I'm pregnant. And he's not the father. What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and we enjoy our freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, Justine, I'm really sorry about this. What? Hands in the air now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who he chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to check you for weapons. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah, you're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now come on, let's go. Girls, look. Fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here. It's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince. What can I say? Life isn't fair. Hello, let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us, just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they do not care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could help you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Duh, otherwise they try and take him away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said no. That was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Gorda, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. 
You know what to do with them. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. W wait, wait a minute. Ladies, let's get him. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is... Blue? You have to cover that up. <laughs> but what is it... Cover it up. Okay, okay, jeez. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. Nah, you're good. No one's going to notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? <laughs> Oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue mark people. Wait, why? Well, apparently the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. <laughs> that is not fair. Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh, who's they? What is more useful when it is broken? It's an egg. It has to be an egg. No way. It's a glow stick. Say glow stick. So which is it? An egg. A glow stick. If I don't get this right, I'm going to die. The final decision is yours to make. This world is not bad for you. An egg. Correct answer. An egg. Mom, I'm home. No, I got a riddle. You need to read it out loud. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? Right in front of you, but you can't see it. Air, it has to be air. It's always right in front of you, but nobody can see it. The answer, air. Incorrect. Correct answer, the future. Mommy's gone. I, I really thought I was right. <laughs> I got a riddle again. What can fly but has no wings? I I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow. A shadow. Correct answer. A shadow. <sighs> Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry. Read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No. Don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer. A river. Oh no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. What can fly but has no wings? I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. Final answer. A ghost. Say ghost. Okay. No. Go it's time. Are you sure? Yes. The answer is time. Correct answer. Time. I hate this game. I don't want to play. Sissy, you need to be strong, okay? Quitting isn't an option. I just got a riddle. What is always spelt wrong? That's an easy one. The answer is wrong. Wrong is always spelt wrong. Wrong? No, it can't be that simple. But what if it is? The answer is wrong. Correct answer, wrong. I just got a riddle. Hurry, Grandma, read it. What can clap with no hands? Clap with no hands? You're behind. No. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow! A shadow! Correct answer, a shadow. <sighs> Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer, a river. Oh, no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later.
Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy, and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I'm going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's going to yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's going to take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. <sighs> That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's gonna have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <sighs> she stole my phone and she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? I think you're right. I think he's going to like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year, you have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday! Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes, my grandpa. Is he going to be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. 
At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you going to call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's going to pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm going to call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you, it's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look. I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes. I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Happy birthday! Wow! A gummy bear! Thank you! There's one more gift for you. Who's it from? There was no name. It's blank. Happy birthday! Thank you! Now there's one more gift. Another card. Does it say who it's from? It doesn't say anything. It's another blank card. Happy Sweet Sixteen! Thank you. Let me guess. Another blank card? Yes. It's the same one as always. Who would do that? Every single year. Happy birthday! Ooh, you got a card? Who's it from? I don't know. Every year on my birthday since I was 10, I've received a blank card in the mail. That's kind of creepy. Wait a minute. White ink. There's something written in this card. White ink. These cards aren't blank. There's something written in them. My papa reads encrypted messages for a living. We can take the cards to him and find out what they say. What do you have for me? This is the first card I received when I was 10. Ah, uh, yes. Find me where the flowers grow. I'm in the garden down below. That doesn't make sense. What is it, some kind of riddle? Maybe we'll understand if we read all the cards. This is the second card. X, Y, Z, X, B. That is the key to set me free. Do you have a pencil? Here. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. It must be some kind of code. This is the third card. The place I am you have in your memory. We used to play there before you were stolen from me. Wait a minute. I know the place. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Aren't you going to school? I'm trying. What in the world? Hmm. Play. 
Here's the exam. It should take you about three hours to complete it. No, if only I could fast forward it. Oh, wait. I can. <laughs> Is that my exam? That's impossible. That only took you 1.2 seconds. Yeah, I'm just super smart. Hmm, let's try the up button. Oh, oh, oh. I can fly. <laughs> wow, that is so crazy. There's just one more I haven't tried. Pause. Pause. Help! Help! I'm paused, I can't move. You seem fine, you're still talking. Yeah, but my body can't move. Whoa, why do controls just appear above your head? Oh, you can see them? Okay, press play for me. And why should I? Please? I don't know if a please is good enough. Pretty please? All right, play. <gasps> Rihanna, hurry, you're gonna miss the bus. Oh, don't worry, I'll just run home. Run home? Your house is a two-hour walk from here. It's okay, I'll just fast forward myself. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I'm home. That was quick, school just ended. I know, I ran really fast. Good morning, Mom, I'm off to school. What the? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back, I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. <sighs> no, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! <sighs> now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. 
Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me, I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Alright everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine has a third option, it says green. That's so strange. I'm gonna choose it, it could be something amazing. Ooh. Brianna, look, I can fly! Whoa! What special ability did you get? I don't know, nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now, your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin! Kevin! Oh no, he's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone! Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they they stopped breathing. What happened here? Uh, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else this footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything! That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. The teacher, she fell to the floor! I know, I don't know what happened! She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone. In order to keep all of our students safe, school will be cancelled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. It's so weird what happened. They just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her. She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I, I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely, living for all eternity. Error. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. 
I'm gonna be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm going to go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. <laughs> well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry. I should have never... Ah. <sighs>
Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy. Jason. I knew you'd come back. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. <sighs> hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or... Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because... You can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You're gonna regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're going to come looking for us soon. Take this cash. You're going to run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know, now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to, my boss knows my license plate. He could attract us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so... What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey. I just want to say I'm sorry for all of this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. 
Chuck. Looking for Chuck. You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trying darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not gonna turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was gonna happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm gonna find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Good morning. I made you lunch. Thank you, Mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... <laughs> Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yeah. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't cry. You'll get caught. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school, and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Hey, what you said worked. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? <gasps> did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. Baby, won't you look my way? I can be your new my soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what ambulance might mean? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be a paramedic when he's older? Yes. I'm sure it's that. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. 
Brianna, wait, where are you going? I'm going home. I just got a call from him. Oh no. And a police car? I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. And then it shows my soulmate. He looks like he's hiding or something. Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? Eight. But you'll only be 17. Huh? Don't worry. I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop dead. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? What if I like a princess? Two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. That's true. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Ella! This is absolutely preposterous. What kind of objection would you have to our marriage? I object because I want to marry her, and I know that she feels the same way. Ugh, that's absolutely rancid. Two princesses cannot marry. They won't accept our marriage. I know. How about we elope? Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. <gasps> no, I missed the bus. Hey, wanna fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race ya. We'd invite you, Brianna, but you have no powers. Whatever, I like walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know, she shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving the city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom, why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. <gasps> 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> It's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait. You can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro. Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. 
In class, that is why I believe the earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. Only say words that start with D. Dude! Sissy, I got a D on my test. What's mom gonna say? Disgraceful. She's gonna say I'm a disgrace? Giselle, how does my outfit look? I want to impress Jake. Disgusting. What do you think he's gonna do when he sees me? Dip. Ugh, you're such a bad friend. Dramatic. Do you think the new guy is cute? Duh. I'm going to call him over. Don't. Hey, Liam, Giselle wants to ask you something. Hey, Giselle, uh, what did you want to ask me? Date. A date? Should I pick you up at 7? Definitely. I think you're a sweet girl. Dream. Wow, you think I'm a dream? Donkey. You're saying I'm a donkey? Dog. Dang it. You can only say words that start with S. Stupid. Sweetie, does this outfit look okay for my job interview? Mm -mm. Scary. You think it looks scary? I worked so hard on it. Sorry. How do you think I should dress for my date? Simple. Hmm. Something simple like this? Slay. Class, today you're going to tell each other what you want to be when you grow up. Giselle, you can go first. Shooter. Excuse me? Slut. And that's a detention. Shit. So you're the girl with the questionable career choices. Shut. You're kind of cute. Space. Give me a kiss. Smelly. Stop! Can only speak in TikTok? BFFR. Hi, honey. How was dinner yesterday? It was bussin' bussin'. Bussin' bussin'? Yeah, no cap. Thank you, I guess. Giselle, does my outfit look okay? Slay. Wait, really? Girl, you ate that. Scrum to be yum yum ma burr burr. Wow, thank you. Look at the new kid. Isn't he cute? Mid. I heard he's got something going on with his stepsister. Sweet home Alabama. My boyfriend keeps hiding his phone from me. That's sus. I think he's cheating on me. It's not giving. Giselle, will you go on a date with me? Are you simping? Yeah, so will you? No, thank you. I'm in my independent queen era. Put your hands up. Only in Ohio. Can only speak in TikTok again? L. Giselle, look at the girl your ex-boyfriend is talking to. A whoop jump scare. That's the girl he cheated on you with. I might kill my ex. I heard they're officially dating. His new girlfriend's next. Mr. Fitz is so cute. I wish he would notice me. Side eye. What? Side eye. Do you think I should take my boyfriend on a picnic? That's so cringe. How about a movie? Yeah, W Riz. Cute necklace. Is it from Shein? It's the knockoff Chanel bag for me. Ah, how dare you! She really thought she ate. I got an A on my math test. Period. Period? Do you need a pad? How was dinner, honey? Ate and left no crumbs. You're adopted. This is my 13th reason. Your total's 20 even. Babe. I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? 
Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh, yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored pencils. pencils! Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still had to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's... Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. 
Ew! What is that? I think this is... What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencils' power? I have to. Which mode activated? There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to... kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was gonna act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great